Globetrotting is so close to hitting 25,000 subscribers, so if you haven't already, make sure to turn on those post notifications and subscribe to never miss an upload. Continuing with the series, exploring where aircraft are in 2023, let's take a look at the Airbus A340, a plane that's always had a purpose within the industry, but due to so many other quad-engined aircraft being so symbolic, maybe the 340 has been the forgotten type. Introduced to the industry now three decades ago, it has played a pivotal role in so many airlines' fleets around the globe for many, many years, and it had a production run of 21 years, which is actually pretty successful given how short other aircraft programs can be. Airbus continued to develop the A340 series since its conception, with further variants being created to fill more niches, from the A340-200 to the A340-300 to the A340-500 and the a340-600, all these variants making up the A340 family. Like most other wide-body aircraft, especially those no longer efficient, they were always on the way out you can make the argument for. However, the pandemic sped things up massively. The A340 was a series that faced a similar fate, like many, with the grounding of aircraft globally and the lack of travel demand, meaning that customers were viewing the option to remove these older, less fuel-efficient planes. And if you were an aircraft that had four engines, well, you probably stood less of a chance. So now, in 2023, where does the Airbus A340 series sit? Which variants are the most prominent? And is there any one customer leading the line? Let's explore. Based on Sirium fleet data, 24 companies have the A340 to their books, and this comprises of 105 total units. That's spread across only three variants, the Dash 300, Dash 500, and Dash 600. However, a more telling tale is the number of currently active and in storage units. The split is almost right down the middle, at 50 50, but just shy. Only 56 Airbus A340s remain in service in 2023. How these are operated, though, does certainly vary. But this is still down, and 49 are in storage. So with that knowledge, what about the operators of the aircraft? What's its current situation? Let's begin with the smaller A340-300 and work our way up. There are 23 currently active Dash 300s, with the largest operator being Lufthansa, who have a staggering 15 to their name. Two A340 300s do, however, for them, still remain in storage. Edelweiss Air is next on the list, which still has four of the A340 300s, followed by Calm Air, with three active and one in storage. Highfly Malta has three active and two in storage, plus Ultra has two active, Swiss also with two. Meanwhile, Mahan Air has two active A340 300s, one in storage. Convisa has a lone A340 300. Finally, South African Airways has multiple to their name, however only one is listed as active, and many remain in storage, unlikely to ever return. As we know, South African Airways' major restructuring has thrown its curveballs, and as such their long-haul fleet has taken a significant hit as they look to cut costs wherever possible. And Iran Asman Airlines also has one. Air X Charter with just one. There are no more after this, currently remaining A340 300s in active service with any other customers. Yes, there are still other airlines that were not mentioned that do still have the type in storage, such as Syrian Air and many more, but they don't fly it. Interestingly, operators that utilize the aircraft, excluding Lufthansa, are not, say, leading airlines. They're much smaller carriers that, say, may have acquired the plane cheaply, or cannot invest in new flashy equipment, such as larger airlines, and have therefore been prominent for a very, very long time. Working our way up, we move to the A340-500. There are currently only inactive Dash 500s. Three operators do have storage units, including Global Aviation Operations, Azerbaijan Airlines, and High Fly. As a result of these customers having them in storage, it actually only amounts to six total units from three operators. The A340-600 is, for now, a favorite thanks to its sheer size, it being the longest variant in the A340 family. And as for who currently flies the A340-600, Convisa has one active Dash 600 and one in storage, 
Mahan Air has three actives with one in storage too. And German flag carrier Lufthansa has nine active with eight in eight remaining in storage and showing once more it's a true leader of the program and probably keeping it alive. As Man Air has one active Dash 600, Iberia notably has six in storage and Plus Ultra has one in storage. Malaith Aero with one active and European Cargo also with one active. The argument could be made that Lufthansa is really the flag bearer of the A340 as a series, flying both the Dash 300 and the Dash 600s. However, the reality is, in another universe, they would have actually already removed the type from active operations for good. That was actually their initial intent. If not for the rapid demand return to the global aviation industry and other key factors that challenge them to maintain capacity on routes worldwide, then maybe the A340 would have remained grounded and sent to the scrapyard. Instead though, Lufthansa bought the A340 back from that graveyard and have continued flying it to meet the exceptional demand that they're seeing right across the board. Unlike the Boeing 777, the Boeing 767, the A330, and maybe other programs from around the same eras, the A340 only really ever acted for the main part of its life as a passenger plane. It was therefore never intended to be a freighter, and as such, when formally being retired by airlines, it would, yes, maybe get picked up by the odd smaller carrier on the cheap, but indeed would not be transformed into a freighter, like we're starting to see with 777s, A330s and more as they age with their passenger airlines. It just simply wouldn't work. So therefore, the life of the A340 is always limited to a certain extent. Yes, adjustments can be made, but not certainly to the same capability as other planes that can be transformed into freighters. The A340's presence in the sky is only set to get smaller and smaller. Just like other quad-engined aircraft, we're now seeing them pass the sunset and enter their twilight era. So, if you're at your local airport, or simply travelling around the world, and you see an A340, and I think for that matter you could extend it to any quad-engined plane, grab a photo for memories and just take an extra look. The reality is, one day there may only be one, two, or three active A340s, and certainly not anywhere near most of us. If you have any thoughts on the A340, you can let me know down below in the comments. Maybe it was a fantastic moment with the aircraft, or something else in between. Thank you very much for watching and your support here on the channel. Take care, be safe, I'll see you in a couple of days for more aviation analysis. And flight, and we'll fly.